Welcome everybody. Today we are going to be doing Never Lyria, um, a game that looked very interesting to me. Uh, this is a side-scrolling survival game. So we're going to see what we do here. Yes, I am sure, because I have not started the game before. So let's uh, dig into the plot. I want to point out here that I like the water reflection. I do apologize, I know my speakers sound a bit hit here. The great speaker, they just for some reason when I turn them up and down, it's at like... Is any of you other two? Holy shit, that got loud, didn't it? Uh, so Neverlyria is a game where you play uh, the skill here. We're going to learn how we do this. You look around and realize that their terrain is unfamiliar to you. You are lost. Perhaps a stone signpost can help you find the way out. Let's read it. I welcome you, Wanderer, to the woods of uh, Neverlyria. Once upon a time, a powerful kingdom scattered over its spaces, and now it is in ruins. Shadows rule these lands. Light is your only guide and salvation. Let it be. Uh, let, yeah, let good luck be on your side. Any little tutorial? Yes. So, to create a building, go to the building mode by pressing tab and selecting the required one. Select the appropriate place to build and press E. To extract resources, use a Q. Uh, bring in necessary resources to the building. Well, that seems pretty straightforward. Fire. At night, only fire and other sources of bright light can protect you. Um, fire is a temporary source of light. Alright. You keep the fire running a little longer by holding back some additional wood. Gotcha. Resources can be carried both manually or with the help of chests. Chests can be carried with you like a resource. Place chests on the ground, press Q. Now it just comes to. Okay, so multiple chests can add that. Mm hmm. Phantom Rain denotes a place of shadows. Night invasion. Protect yourself and your resources to survive. So we must be careful there at the Phantom Rain. So, there's obviously some creepy crawlies. So us here. Got some num nums. Let's eat the num nums. Well, uh, what do you guys think, eh? What do I need here? I feel like a chest would be something to good. Something to good. Something to good, guys. I'm an idiot. Um. Let's walk around a little, even though it's still night. I feel like we have some more. We're going to bring this with us. For the numbins. Oh, hold on. Shit, can I only carry one thing at a time? Because that is going to make this game slightly difficult. So if that's the case, maybe bringing a chest with me. That is not a good thing. That is a spooky dooky looking guy. No woman. Remove yourself from his and did restart. Maybe I'd be better up building over here, eh? Um there is a furnace, a tree farm, a brewery, a wall, a chest. Uh, I feel like I would like to maybe look into seeing what else I can build. Oh, look at these. Can I eat these? I can eat these. Alright, so. Good to go. If you hold Q, she'll just keep packing away at this, which is good. Uh, I give her credit, man. She's putting in the work here, guys. So I got E. Okay, that thing is creepy as shit. Um, I feel like step one for her, honestly, is... Uh, what do we say, guys? What do we say? What do we say, eh? First off, let's get over here and build a fire.
cake fire. The mushroom man does not like it. I feel like I made a horrible choice here. I should have built a fire over here, maybe. I can't jump over him. I'm gonna die again, of course. No, I'm not. Put that there. Get this. Aha! Take that shit, Mushroom Man. Yes, he'll stand there and die by the fire. I don't even know why I'm calling him Mushroom Man. He doesn't even look like a mushroom, but... I feel like, look, at least it's something right now, right guys? Oh, fuck me running. There's another guy. How long until daylight? Get these little shits out of here. Right now, I feel like my main goal is to just stay alive until the daytime, and then we can go and do some building. Well, we have them frozen in time. Um, it's a shame there's not like a little house built in here, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the wall is obviously a needed thing. Can I? I can. Eve, I don't need to read this. Uh, I do need to get these little shithead mushroom guys away from me. Are they just go in the day, or are they still gonna try and march and kill me, or are they not uh, evil in the day? Maybe they're good in the day, I don't know. I feel like the sun's coming up, at least. Ha ha ha! We made it through night one, guys. Now let's pack stuff up out of hell. No, 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 no. Uh, we're gonna explore more now. Let's get out of that area. I need to figure out a better place to set up shop, maybe. Like, see? Here's some, here's some home. So, uh, here's what I think I'm gonna do. Maybe, right? I'm gonna start by building a wall here. And then I will grab the resources I need. I do like that unlike a lot of these games, Shirty has a while. I apologize if in the beginning I was tucking down too much. Uh, and I'm sorry for not doing a video yesterday, guys. Uh, we have lost yet another pet. And I know some of you are like, are you kidding me? But, uh, you know... With old age comes sorrow, and unfortunately, uh, uh, my cat, Space Cat, that you all have seen in earlier videos, has passed away from us, so... He was 16, he passed in his sleep. Still bums me out, though. Um, but anyways, as you see, this is a pretty easy to pick up and play game. I think, anyway. I like that about it. Um, I get annoyed sometimes with games that aren't very self-explanatory, especially when I'm new to them. And I'm sure you all have been there. You guys can understand, right? So, there is that. I feel like I'm better off trying to make do well on either side of me, maybe? What do you guys say? Can I climb this? No, I cannot climb the wall. But I feel like the wall is supposed to be protected. Right? So... Coining factory. I don't really get what that does. Herb farm would be good. A tree farm is not a bad idea. A furnace I would like. And I feel like that would be good to have. So we're going to put a furnace. Yeah, we're going to do a furnace here just past the wall right there. 
And uh, all I need for that are three stone. I have two stone here, so we can go grab another stone. I definitely need some more stone, period. Because I need stone for that, and I need stone uh, on this side for yet another wall that I want there. Um, I get the feeling this is one of those games where you literally always want to be crafting something, no matter what it is. Oh, that's spooky dooky right there. I wonder if I was supposed to go, like... No, not where somebody has died. That's fucked. Don't be morbid. Um... But no, I kind of dig the mechanics of this. It's quite easy to pick up and play, you know? Q collects, uh, E grabs. So Q is like your scavenge key, and you seem to have the tools on you, which I'm not going to lie to you all, is very refreshing. Um, it's not that I don't like Minecraft and games like that, guys, but let's be honest, shall we please? And uh, do some road talk here for a minute. It is a pain in the ass, and you and me both know it. And you have to constantly, constantly, um, go and make new shit that you shouldn't have to make just to go and drag. You know, you, look, you know what I mean. One thing I like about this chest thing, too, is if I make a second one and put that near my home, everything in there is in there. Uh, so they share stuff, so that is good. I can basically just pick this up, so we're gonna... Shit, it's starting to turn on this much. Pack these up now, girl. Oh my god. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. Good. Put them in there. Put all of it in there. Including the stone. And we're gonna go and make... Uh, that furnace on the other wall tonight. Uh, I don't know how a furnace works exactly, but we're also going to try to make a fire. You motherfucker. I feel like something is literally attacking my base, and that better not be the case. Of course it's going to be right. I think I'm going to die a lot in this game. Anyways, when I'm done, this is going to be my at-home-in-the-base chest. Uh, in which I will have other ones that I use, but don't let one of you big fucking guys. Oh, fuck you. I knew you were going to come in here. Piss off. hate these fucking things. I feel like I should get a little leeway with this shit, guys. Come on now. Look at this shit. He just knocked down my fucking wall. Are you kidding me? Asshole. You're even stealing my shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, restart. I didn't have a good game plan there. Basically, this is what I'm gonna do. We're, uh, we're, we're instantly going to start by just doing something simple like making a big fire, keep off the baddies, and uh, I'll deal with building in the daytime. A wall sucks, so we're not going to stick with the wall. For now, we're going to explore instead and build a fire every night. Once I find a better home, then I will deal with that shit. And for now, we're going to stay on fire. Or I need to. That's right, sucker. I want to go drink my coffee, but I can't drink my coffee with this thing on. Uh, I feel like this is a challenging game, but I feel like once you get the swing of it, uh, there's definitely some interesting stuff to be found here. Now, the waiting game I am not the most drilled with, but uh, the graphics are great. I like the uh, kind of Nintendo-esque 8-bit graphics. Um, The shadow people are a little creepy, 
they do their job sufficiently. Let's make sure this fire doesn't go out, guys. We don't want that shit, do we? There, take this back. So keep that there when the, the fire is a life meter, if you look. I think she'll ask me through the night. I don't know. I just want one of these to eat. I don't know what the hell that was, but it certainly wasn't any poorly clover I've ever seen. So I get the feeling those little dots under me are my help. Or not my health, but my uh, hunger, the ones above are the health. Um, I'm trying to sneak over here to grab if I can hear corn. I'm assuming that's corn, it looks like corn. Okay, good. My food is back up. Y'all can piss off. Yeah, that's right, you stay. Ah, uh -huh, you're good now. Um, a weapon would be good to learn how to make, to fight them off. I want to say in something I saw, I did see a thing with a weapon, but I might be crazy. Probably am. I am not fucking with a lot of us right off the bat until I, I learn more. So for now we're going to have a very simple plan, and that plan is going to be... Um, I think this is how I'm going to do it, man. Now, I don't really get how to use a chest, so what I'm going to do is, during the day, we're going to drag this chest with us, carry it as our resource, and uh, when I find the spot I think would be a good home, then we'll just put it in there. I'm gonna bring it up wood. That way during the night. I have enough to make a big fire. And then we're gonna stand by the fire. Now it's said that if I explore enough, I learn how to unlock new recipes, so we're gonna do that. I don't know how to get shit from the chest, but carrying a chest and walking is easier than just carrying other things. Okay, now there's a person, the people in a village, and if this is, can I do something? Let a group of travelers have spread, some people are looking at with interest, but they are very exhausted after having conversation, but I that they are order a trader, start after a long journey. Uh, okay. New buildings are available. I can build a tavern. Okay, so I can build them a tavern. But do these creatures just knock this shit down at night? Is this so? I don't want that. Wow. So, uh, let me see how to do this. I'm gonna leave this with them. We're gonna start on a tavern, because if I can go chill in a tavern at night, instead of dying, that would be ideal, wouldn't it? And then maybe I'll be able to, uh... I mean, do these things even fuck with villages? I hope not. And a hermit's hut. Okay, well, I can't make bread yet, buddy. But I will. I said I can't make bread yet, son of a bitch. Give me a minute. 
What is this crazy thing? Agent Collins of voting are seen through against Forest. Da, da, da. Time probably is a golden statue of a phoenix in the middle of it. Your coach touch the statue, weird feeling of peace overtakes you. You exert some agent wisdom today. New buildings are available. I make a totem. The totem helps with the fights and the action things. Alright. Good. Good. Make a cornfield. Which I'm sure is valuable. Here, you all have this thing. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do here, and this sucks ass, because it's close to the spooky times. So unfortunately tonight, my peoples, you're not gonna love this. But, I am hoping anyway, that they have fire at night. If not, I have to make fire at night, which of course I'm gonna have to, because fuck me, right? Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead here. We're gonna plot out this big fire right there. I'm gonna walk into a tree. I'm gonna chop the tree. Like this, so the wicker people do not come. I call them the wicker people. I do now, anyway. Well, well. Let's see what we can do. I hit Q. Goddamn. I think it interrupted my chop there. So, slap chop. Um, and for those of you wondering, yes, I will be doing another Let's Play as well tomorrow. Uh, you guys, I do apologize, man. Yesterday, our cat passed this weekend, so it's been pretty damn rough. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I just needed a day to myself to recollect my thoughts and mourn. And, uh, I'm still having a really rough time, but let's be honest, you know, a small YouTube channel doesn't do well as it is, and if I don't keep up with videos like a monster, then we're never going to do good. Um, being real about it, uh, it, it sucks in a way because I try and I know I try, but it's a lot of stuff, man. It's a lot of stuff that you got to do with the YouTube channel. It's a lot of stuff that you got to remember to do. And I am not going to lie to you, I feel quite exhausted sometimes. Um, but you do what you, you do what you got to do, you know? Do what you gotta do. Try to keep out those wicker people. Now while we're at it, let's learn how to use these. Okay, so all I gotta do there is hit the arrow button that way, and that lets me do that, so that's also good. So they don't mess with the hermit. He's a, he's all right. He's alive. Really, the village uh, is a waste of time to to bother making these messes. Oh well, I didn't know. I didn't know. Shit. I'm curious to see exactly what it is they do here, so let's find out. So basically in villages and all that, they will not harm NPCs, they just want to kill you. And it seems like if you build the fire right, then... Uh, I get the feeling they would have tried to attack that building, but maybe not. Maybe not in a village. I don't know. I'd like it if I could also go in the tavern. I don't know. Um, this is quite an interesting game, though. I will say that. 
Ooh. Very inventive. Um, and it's what got me interested in it is it didn't really look like other games that I have that I have seen. And again, the game we're playing here, guys, is Neverlyria. Um, female protagonist. Very interesting game. And come on, baby. Last a little longer with that fire. Then I gotta go to the that way to the and ba boom. So so far we're surviving, all right. We're doing better than we did. We found a village. Uh, I'm gonna keep wood, keep everything I can in this thing. Um, definitely need to go through. I'm gonna go through here and grab extra food as well. So save up for the harvest. Eat, eat one right now. First things first, stone. I need some stone. So what I'm gonna do here is grab some of these things too. Um, I wish I could like grab stacks of them, but I can't. That would be uh, an improvement I would like to see. Um, but I don't know, maybe they're like craftable pouches. Craftable weapons I feel like are a must if they are not in this. I know fire is a resource and a defense, but I feel like a tough independent female character like this should be able to have some sort of weapon against these things. That personally, that's that's my my own personal thoughts on it. I'm not telling you how to make your game. Um, I don't know, just food for thought kind of thing, you know? I'm not trying to step on any toes here, guys. Um, I mean, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with it either way. Uh, I don't want to read this shit again. God, I walked quite a ways, eh? Like, I'm just trying to get to the damn stone. I don't want enough to put up that tavern tonight. So this will do for two reasons. One that is more than enough for that, more than enough to grab me some food and mow down and then walk my little ass back there. Get the tavern built, throw a fire up, and by then it should be nightfall. So we have no time to lose here. The walls are useless, I'm afraid, so I'm not going to put my stuff in ever building another wall. I mean, maybe they're meant to be a better defense, but as of right now, I feel like wall should keep them out. Um, they do not, so I see no reason to build a wall at all right now. So I'm not going to. And as for all the wood that I'm passing by, I just don't have enough time. So we need to haul ass to the village, because I want to get this tavern made. I feel like with the tavern made, they'd be very happy. They're happy, I'm happy, and if the tavern's made, maybe this will, maybe this will do something good for me, I don't know. Um, yeah, somebody asked me to do Broken Protocol as a series. Um, that was another one you guys have seen me do too long. Uh, the second one was kind of a walkthrough on jobs, things like that. Um, you'll notice my left eye looks a little puffy. Uh, yours truly walked into something. And you hear people say they've done that all the time. I actually did it. So. Uh, dumbass that I am. So yeah, that's been joyous. I had a splitting, splitting migraine yesterday because of it, so. Today I'm dealing with the aftermath of that dumbass decision. Uh, I can't say decision, but you know what I mean. I certainly was not looking to make that part of my day, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So what you do here is you pick this up with E. Q seems to do the gathering things. E is pretty much like the grabbing things. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, already with these guys. I deal with these assholes in a minute. I certainly got enough 
to build a decent uh, fire. So we're gonna go here and build a big fire, right, right there. Uh, let me go in here and hit Q. Get the logs. Hit two of those down and build a big fire. And then these creepy ass things can kiss my ass. Um, I'm hoping this stops them from doing anything. It'd be nice if I could actually go in here. No, of course I can't, right? I could just build it. I feel like... I don't know what I trust, because what's the point of building some of this if they can just knock it down? Coining factory, I really don't understand what that does for me. A furnace, I think, would be good to have. Um, and I feel like maybe that's a good thing to try and build, but I don't know. So maybe we're going to put a furnace... No, I can't put a furnace over there, apparently. No, no, no. Can I cancel building? Let's see. I'm curious to see what happens if I allow that. So far, no weird ass rock monsters, but I'm not. Again, I'm not buying that they're not gonna come. So I'm basically going to stay to the left side of the map this playthrough and see how I do. I feel like that's my game plan here. I got wood. I'm not really trusting the wood for anything else right now. During the day I will take my little trusty chest out. That didn't sound good. Uh, and explore. I think I this was fire. I was going to build a little fire here too. So. Um, let's go ahead and chop more wood and build a second little fire there. I actually don't know how long I can uh, hold that down, I'm not gonna lie. So, the developers have explained that, my bad, and I apologize. Um, anyways, we're gonna take my little chest. How about you all fucking tavern go in there? Oh yeah, you, uh, see? See? Oh, they left my. F oh, they tore down the tavern. Dev, what are you doing? What's the point of this then? I need a guide, basically, is what I need. I'm probably playing this wrong, so it's not really the dev's fault. And this is a charming little game, and I am enjoying it. I just wish I knew more of what I was doing and how to keep my buildings from being uh, destroyed. Because uh, the wall's not doing it, so what, what does it? I don't know. What is, what is the secret here? What is the thing that stops the building from being destroyed, guys? I don't know. Clearly these things only want me. So we'll see. What I'm going to do is, when I die this time, I'm going to call it. And this will be my playthrough of this. Oh, this is a hard one, man. Definitely a hard game, I'm not going to lie. This is uh, one of the harder games like this I've played. We're going to grab one piece of wood here. I'm curious to see how I get that wood to replenish this fire. I don't need it right now. I guess I really don't need it. Oh, okay, so it just automatically goes in there. Well, that's not too shabby. Like, right, great! I didn't do shit for me, did it, people? You assholes, you let my furnace. Yeah, they destroyed all my shit. Well, they didn't destroy the furnace, but... I'm just gonna call it. I still think that's a shitty thing. It doesn't give me a lot of incentive, basically, to want to keep building, you know? Um, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a way to... Maybe 
maybe there's a way to protect my stuff. I'm not trying to knock this game at all. It's an interesting game. I'm a little miffed here that uh, after all of that shit, I feel like it just peed on me a bit. And now I gotta figure out a way to protect my stuff more. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna read some guides after this, learn some things, see what I'm not doing, because I'm sure there's a lot of it. And maybe I'm not. Maybe I haven't unlocked the right buildings. Maybe they're like gates and and uh, other things that stop these assholes from doing that. Uh, I don't really know. You know, a furnace is cool and all, but again, I don't even know what the hell that thing does. So again, this is one of those that during the day I gather things and hope to God I know what I'm doing. There's a signpost up ahead, so we're going to explore that and see where I'm going. I think that just literally means look out spooky dookies. Is this a spooky dookie tower? Okay, so that's the end of that map. Wow. Kind of sucks. So we're gonna chop down the old hangman's tree here. Say goodbye to our forest friends that way. Now this is a procedurally generated world, guys, if I remember right. So each time you play it, it is different. Uh, we're starting to near spooky dooky territory. So I think the last night here uh, is going to be me at least trying to get back to the village in time. Just for this. Uh, I do have food somewhere. getting stuck up on those, these little assholes. Because apparently all I really need is one big fire. And then I can just keep chopping the woods. So that's what we're going to do here, is make one big fire in the center of the village, right around here. Um, so we're going to start that big fire right about there. Uh, go get and this is going to be my last night in these areas and then I'll go chop the wood kind of replenish it back and we're even going to go as far as to stack up one or two more for the night and then put it near there so that this shit burns all night. They're starting to like hustle us, so. I'm good to go though, because if need be and these little shitheads start to come at me, I can just chill out there. In the meantime, before they come, I want to try and at least get the rest of this wood done. Come on, baby, you can do it. She's gonna grab all the wood she can and chuck wood like a woodchuck could chuck wood. A woodchuck could chuck wood, but you could chuck. That's why it's a woodchuck, because it could chuck wood. And uh, she will go and use the last of the four leaf clover looking plants to eat and have herself some num nums. And even if I don't get all three pieces of wood, two are better than none. I'm not too fussed about it really because from here we're going to go north, left is south, right is north, 
in, in my in my game world I'm coding it as I see it. So she needs to eat in a minute. Hopefully she has time. But I got enough wood down there. We're just gonna pop this last pile here too in case I need it. And now we're gonna go in here and grab all the fucking four of these and pick out. Oh yes, you'll eat all of these. I want you to get your health back. I am dead. Alright, we're just gonna call it here guys. I got some guides to read clearly. Um, anyways. I am Bones. Uh, the game is uh, Neverleria. And, uh, cute little game, interesting survival game, procedurally generated side-scroller. Super easy to learn the controls though, which is a huge benefit. Um, I need to learn how to play it better, so I'm gonna watch some guides maybe. Read some guides and see what the heck I'm doing. Um, the video, or the, uh, the link to buy the game will be below. Make sure you like and subscribe. I am Bones, you all have a great day.